Yo guys, we're back again for another video. Hope you guys are doing well, man. It's a big, big day today, man. So the Buddha's Day Guarantee Pack came out today, but as I know a lot of you guys are probably doing that, man. Let, let, let down below. Let me, let me know what you guys got, man. Like, I did it. I got a, you know, I got a little uh, Hoffman, but, you know, we did a couple of them on stream as well, man. It's a lot of Hoffman, Hoffman Guarantee Pack, but, you know, if you guys got anything crazy, man, let me know in the comments below. I want to see what you guys got. I want to see if you guys got any Ws, but hopefully it wasn't a scam. But we move on to something super, super important, man, coming into this week, Friday, man. You know, we have La Liga coming up. You know, the Buddha's Day is about to end. We have La Liga coming into this uh, new team of this season, and we also have the MLS joining it as a secondary team, which we're going to talk about that probably later on in the week. But we do have some leaks on the La Liga, man. So you guys do it the video anytime throughout the video, man. Drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, man. We're going to get right into this, bro. So we have a lot of the players that are leaked. We have SPCs. And something even more interesting, I think, is even very, very interesting is daily icon, as you guys see there at the right side of the screen, man. So Brazil icon, you see a foot birthday, you see a team of the year, man. So a lot of icons have been leaked, some foot birthdays, team of the years, uh, prime icons, and they're pretty, pretty crazy, man. So we do have them pulled up here for you guys on Twitter, man. A big shout out to get the foot sheriff and dog as well for the leaks. W from them helping us create content for you guys, uh, let you guys in, in informing you guys of what's coming out, man. So I never want to let you guys be out of the loop of anything, but I want you guys all to know, man. So if that does help you guys, man, drop a like, drop a like, man. So we're always here posting videos, man. So again, thank you guys so much for the for the love, man, on the on the, on the Saudi pack video. We did it really well on that. And the Ronaldo, but if you guys did watch it, man. Thank you guys so much, man. W guys, all these videos man, have been, been doing very, very well, man. So I love you guys so much. But we're gonna move on here for you guys. We have some new SPCs and players coming in. So of course we know Ben Zema, Lewandowski, Vinny. Of course we all know these cards are gonna come in. They've been playing very, very well. Vinny, I feel like he's gonna be one of the, one of the best cards in this game. Ben Zema, of course, you know he had a team of the year. I think they might make Ben Zema a little bit lower than his team of the year, like by one rating. So 97, not too bad for Ben Zema, man. These are probably all. Uh, Stats or predictions, yeah. So the predictions, predicted stats, but Vinicius, you know, he's had a, like three or four cards in this game. They've all been crazy. Golds, informs, foot birthdays, doesn't matter, man. This card is crazy. Team of the year nominee. Finally getting a team of the season this card. I need in my squad, but fits my team perfectly with Brazil links, La Liga links. I can finally fit Marcus Lorente in my team. If I get him, that'll be a W. And then Lewandowski, I don't think he hasn't been doing too well at Barca, but you know, Barca won the league. So congrats to Barca, Vizca Barca, Vizca Catalunya. You know, big W with them. So definitely a good front three I want to see in La Liga, man. So definitely a dub there. We also have more players from Real Madrid, you know, Valverde, Adam Militao, and Modric, man. All players we know are probably going to get it. You know, they didn't win the league, man, but you know, they have been playing very, very well, man. If they win the UCL, Man, it's gonna be even better, man. Like Edin Militao, man, has always been good at FIFA. If you guys remember back in the day, FIFA 19, Edin Militao, Porto card, and at FIFA 20, Edin Militao, the flashback. This card has always been crazy, but last year, year before, he's always had crazy cards, summer summer cards. Like this card's always been nasty, man. So Edin Militao, definitely a W, links a lot of players into your team. Valverde as well, one of the better cards in this game. A lot of few informs, man, he's had different position modifiers. So hopefully, I think if he gets like a CM card, like hopefully you can put him in like as a key, a cam or CM or right wing, whatever, not just like a CM and that's it. Because even Dropped informs that's like only one position, that's it. I don't think that's like the best thing ever, but you know, we take Valverde, he's a very, very good card. Links perfect link to Arrojo. I would say perfect, you know, because he's not on Barca, but still, man, a good link to Arrojo. If you guys did that, completed that card, man, it definitely helps you with the links. And then Modric, well, man, definitely, definitely deserve this guy, man. 38 years old, still an amazing, amazing player in the midfield. And, you know, they are replacing him slowly, though, with Bellingham trying to come in. They have Tushi Mani, they have Camavinga, best midfielders in the world at the moment, man. You know, Madrid, a la barrina, la mas. You know, vamos a los blancos who do play today, man. So we're going to see what happens. I'm not, I haven't watched the game yet. They're probably playing right now. So, you know, a la Madrid. I'm not even a Madrid fan, but, you know, I do fuck with them, bro. You know, I do like Madrid. So we move on. W for Madrid. We have Molina and Griezmann. So, so Atletico players, you know, Atletico do have some, some talent, you know. So definitely want to see a Molina card. We haven't seen him since his uh, showdown card. And I definitely need a card like this in my team because he definitely helps out with links in my in my squad, bro. I, I feel like I need, like, I miss out on that showdown. And if I get this card, it'll be a bigger dub. I definitely need a right back in my squad, man. So if we pack Molina, I'm definitely going to like this a lot. He probably needs to play, like, wing back and the right mid. That's what he plays in real life. So definitely a W there. And then Griezmann, man, who's been going off in La Liga with... um. Atletico too, man. He's been probably one of the better underrated strikers in La Liga. People don't really look his way, but I feel like Griezmann has always had that form, and people always, like, never look at him that way, bro. But I think Griezmann's going to be one of the best strikers in this game, man. If you play him as a striker, or, like, maybe, like, a cam spot, he can be nasty, bro. Like, I always love Griezmann, man. Always love Griezmann, one of my boys. Could have played for Portugal, chose France. What a rat. We could have needed him with Portugal besides Ronaldo, but it's okay. We move, man. But we definitely want to see Griezmann. Definitely a very, very, very cool card. We move on to Javi Galtan. Or Galan, sorry, and then Ter Stegen. We haven't had a Ter Stegen card at all. I feel like he's going to get one. 
There's like no other keeper. I don't think he's gonna get one besides maybe Courtois. But Courtois is a team of the year. I don't think they're gonna give him another card. But you know, Ter Stegen, but he hasn't had he hasn't had a special card all year. Like he hasn't had a special card since FIFA 22. So having a, a team of the season, Ter Stegen is definitely gonna be a W. Need it for my squad as well. You know, I need like these La Liga players, man. I have so many on my bench. Don't play them. Yeah, I don't have the links, man. But German and also uh, Bundes. No, I'm sorry, German and also La Liga. Definitely very good links. Can link to my Goretzka. Can link to my uh, Arrojo. Very, very good card. Definitely want to see that. And then we also have Javi Galan, who doesn't look too bad, man. I mean, he has good pace, good defending, man. I also, by the way, if you guys weren't in the live stream, we did pack Davies, man. Team of the year. No, sorry. Team of the season, Davies. We packed them today, which is a big, big deal. I know it was a store pack, but people don't want to say it counted. It counted. We take it, bro. Davies is such a go. We had we had a World Cup. Uh, Zan brought in our team for almost 800 games. We finally let him rest, drink some Gatorade. Now we got Davies in, fresh legs. There we go, man. So Davies, links to my Goretzka. Big dub, man. But having Javi Galan, I mean, he looks pretty good for La Liga. I mean, if you guys need a La Liga left back or something, but he looks pretty good, man. You know, if these are just pretty good stats, but, you know, they are pretty close to what they are in, like, in the game. They'll probably be something like this. Um, not too bad. 90 pace. I don't think it's, like, too, too slow, but... I feel like your left backs and like your right back should be like 95 minimum pace. So this guy's definitely gonna get a shadow for sure. I think you definitely gotta put a shadow on him. And then we also have uh Castellanos, who is on loan from New York FC, I believe. New York City FC to uh Girona. So he's been playing pretty well. I mean, he looks like a pretty good card as well, man. Argentina striker. I feel like he might be like four star, five star or something. It probably has some nine nine stats thrown on him. Because I love how EA are dropping like nine nine stats, like a bunch of cards, like random to make them a little bit more usable, dribbling or like heading or something, or stamina, which is definitely a dub. So if he gets like a four star five star, like a nine nine stat somewhere, that'll be a W. He looks pretty good. Probably like an RTG type of striker. Maybe you guys need a striker, Argentinian links, La Liga, pretty solid. So you that Molina card, you get this Castellanos, definitely a dub, man. So I don't know if he's going to be an SP. He looks like more of like an SPC, but if he comes out as a moment, I wouldn't be surprised, like something like this. So definitely a W there. And then we move on as well to four more players. Man, we have Lorete, Gabri Viega, who's been playing very, very well. He did have a player of the month with uh, Celta as well. And then we have David Garcia and Merino. So some more Spanish players. You guys see a lot more Spanish players coming to the team. Probably some more pack fillers, like some, like Lorete here is like one of the best midfielders I've used. I have his foot fantasy. I packed him a while back. He's not too bad. It's like one rating lower. So if I don't pack this card, all good for me. He's only like a 91. So this is actually like 90. 92 or 93 i won't be too big mad you know won't be too mad but this card is broken bro he plays right back right mid and center mid man so lorente one of the better dms in this game he can also attack for you guys need him to as well so if i can put him and my garetska together with some la liga links oh man we're gonna be cooking bro so this guy's looking crazy uh other players we did see as well so we have vega gabby vega looks really really solid man he's young too man like nine like, that he's like what 21 or 22 or something like that bro but i think he's more of like an attacking mid man so if he could have like four star five star five star four star man 99 giblet or something like or some some 99 stat his car can be broken as well man probably like an rtg type of car man he might not be more than like 200k yeah marino is probably gonna be packed so much in this game man probably like He's going to be like guaranteed La Liga Menino packs. I know for a fact next week. Next week today, we're going to see, man. So Menino doesn't look too bad. I mean, he's always, his goal card doesn't look too bad. But team of the season, I feel like people aren't going to really want him. He's probably like a fodder type of card. But not too bad. Solid card. You guys need him for like an RTG, like I said. But last card here we did have was David Garcia, center back. I feel like this guy's not too good. I mean, the 80 pace is not too bad. It's like it's kind of mid. But I mean, there's definitely a lot of better cards out right now. So that we got to see that probably is good for links, but I mean, I, I'm probably gonna miss. I don't want him at all, bro. You know, I already have like Ramos on my team. We have like, um, who else we have in my team, man? We have uh, Carlos Alberto, stuff like that, man. So this guy will not make the cut, man. So we need like the big boys only, but we move on to something more, more important, man. So we did go over some of the players as well, like Lewandowski, Vinny Mikhail, etc., etc. But what's more important and what's more interesting is the new SPCs and icons dropping for that league, man. So we have a Ronaldinho 94 SBC dropping, man. So the one I've been talking to about you guys and my team, man. So 94 Prime. That's Prime Dingo, by the way. So that card is broken. I got to see how much he is on the market. We do have him in my squad as well. So I'll show you guys that now. He is not too bad. So we have him here on my team. We're going to check the price on him. He is about 4 mil. 3.8 so his price is definitely dropped because of the leak so he's 3.5 he might drop a little bit more depending on what the price ea put on him he'll drop more if he make him like a little bit more expensive which is what they've been doing with with spcs he might go up a bit more so if you guys want to invest in this card you probably could find him at like a cheaper price i think 3.4 or like 3.5 is a good price for dingo i feel like he's very very good like i'll show you guys his stats with him like i've had him as like a super sub i've had him as like starting as like a left mid or left wing he like builds up play wasn't really in the attack as much but now that i put him as like a right striker he drops down the mid he plays very very well for me we also have a review up as well if you guys want to check that out uh on the channel man search up like dingo 
He's not too bad. I like them a lot. He has 241 goals, 167 uh, assists, and 660 matches. So not too bad. Like maybe like two thirds of his uh, games he's scoring or, or assisting, man. But I do like him, man. But his dribbling is so nice, man. Like agility balance, very, very good. The only card I feel like is better than this is his team of the year. And that team of the year one is like the, one of the best strikers in this game or best wingers in this game. But he's crazy, crazy good. So yeah, man, he looks pretty nuts, man. I'm very excited to use if we can ever get a chance to use that card. Uh, the team of the year one, but yeah, man, we move on. We also have a Coleman 92 SBC. I feel like Coleman, you know, is just a Barca legend, but you know, we move on from that. R10 coming into the game is definitely be a W. Hafinga, you know, Barca Hafinga looks pretty good. I feel like he's had moves to like Arsenal and stuff like that. He's been linked, but you know, Rafinha is a very solid card, bro. So he's going to be really, really good in this game. More like a bootleg like uh, Vinny or a bootleg like Rodrigo in this game. So definitely a really good card. And then like a flashback, Carrasco. Because Carrasco had a, uh, a team in the season last year or the year before, I believe, with Atletico Madrid. So Carrasco could be really good in this game. And he also has defensive stats. So you can play him with like a left wing back, a left wing or something to drop back for you guys. Are rad to play 5 4 1. So you guys are definitely going to want that card for Atletico Links, Belgium Links. So. Yeah, man, these cards are coming. They're looking pretty crazy, man. I'm very, very excited. If you guys are new, again, if you guys made it to the end of the video, thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Make sure you guys drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are not already, man. I'll catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace.